Hello everybody, welcome back to Dial H for Heroclix. This week we're going to be talking about maps as far as our Heroclix Basics video series goes. Maps is where all the action happens in Heroclix. It's where we're going to be rolling dice, KOing figures, and so much more. So now let's take it over to Simeon as we go over the basic terrain types in a Heroclix map. Thanks Calder. Terrain's the name of the game, and we're happy to report that there's going to be quite a bit of hindering on this map. Now, hindering's going to hinder lines of fire drawn to characters if it goes through it. It's also going to give you a plus one defense to range attacks made against those characters. It was pretty tough to see me behind that bush, wasn't it? Figures are going to be at a standstill over here where we've got to deal with blocking terrain. Line of fire is not going to be easy over there. Tough to see me, right? Well, this piece of blocking terrain is great for blocking line of fire and cutting off movement. Walls are a lot like blocking terrain, but instead of taking up an entire square, they're only along the edge. Good thing we've got some transition squares, because over here we've got some elevated terrain to deal with. Hey everybody, as you can see, I am up on elevated terrain. I am on the ledge, which means I'll be able to shoot down at any enemy targets below me, although I cannot make a close attack to anyone that's on a lower elevation. Hope you brought your scuba gear, because we've got some water terrain. But we'll do more on that in a future video. While not necessarily a type of terrain, it is very important. Denoted in purple is your starting area, where you place your figures before the game begins. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, because next week we're going to be going over building a team.